Right, so a real quick and candid video here today. I was working out the other day doing a chest workout, just warming up, taking the 12 kilogram ones. I think that's about 25 pounds or something. And I noticed this man watching me as I'm doing my rep. Yeah, I was doing it really slowly, really controlling it, not pushing to failure or anything. Really just trying to stretch my chest out. Nothing fancy, you know? Like I said, just really taking it slow, really controlling the move. So this guy that's been watching me do this warm up set comes up to me and he's like, English or Dutch? Baby, you got something in your nose. I'm like, oh, yeah, I speak a little bit of Dutch, but you know, you can speak English as well, doesn't matter. And he says, you are a great example that you don't need to lift big to get big. And I was like, yeah, yeah, thank you. Um, you know, he just called me big, he just called me huge. He, this guy just called me small. This is a very nice compliment. And this guy was, wasn't was small. He was uh, also on the big end. He was, you know, you could see this guy was lifting. I would say he was about in his fifties or sixties. Looks really good for his age. Looks good for any age. So I was, I was flattered by this comment, you know? Yeah. So I tell him now, um, this is actually just a warm up set. I'm going to go a little bit heavy later on, but yeah, I, I tend to not do free rep maxes on the incline double press, you know? It's just, prone for injury and you can see like a lot of people get injured with this and they dislocate their shoulders they injure their hands and all that stuff so i don't want that so yeah i generally just do maybe six six to ten reps of really pushing it you know so that had me thinking like do you actually have to lift like a crazy amount of weight for you to actually gain a crazy amount of muscle mass you know and i'm sure as all of you are actually familiar by now is you know, progressive overload is, is the way to go. So you can go about progressive overload in a multitude of ways. You can increase the weight every week in every workout and keep the reps the same, or you can up the reps and keep the weight the same, or you can just keep both of them the same, keep the weight and the reps the same, but you just add another set. So that way you're increasing the volume. So for you to increase volume, you have to change one of three factors. So it's either the weight, the sets or the reps. If you just do this every single week and you are, if you're multiplying those three factors together, so you multiply your weight with the reps, with the sets, that gives you the volume. And if you are increasing the volume every single week, you should see significant muscle gains, right? But now I'm wondering like, if you are just increasing the weight, but you know, is there like, I mean, if, you, if you're gonna get to a certain amount of reps, right? Like a crazy amount of reps, I'm talking 20 to 30 reps, you're actually gonna start to just fatigue the muscle before it actually reaches failure. So my question is, does the weight eventually have to increase? You know, like if let's say I'm doing uh, bicep curls and I'm doing 10 kilograms of bicep curls, and I do 20 reps of that. If I'm just gonna be increasing the reps every single week, am I going to still make gains? Like, am I still gonna build muscle when the reps eventually get to 50 reps, 60 reps, 70 reps, 80 reps, you know? Like, will there be infinite muscle gains on the same amount of weight? Like, just imagine yourself being in a house and you have one pair of dumbbells. Could you essentially use that pair of dumbbells and become as big as Ronnie Coleman, for instance? Okay, I mean. That, that man is an anomaly, but you know, let's just take the average guy that looks really decent for his size, you know, someone like Brownie or, you know, it's more calisthenics, but someone like, yeah, someone like Will Tennyson or uh, Jesse James West. These are natural bodybuilders and, you know, they look exceptional. So can you, in fact, use those pair of dumbbells? Let's say, for instance, you have 10 kilogram dumbbells. Can you use those 10 kilogram dumbbells and build an impressive looking physique with that? You know, you can do a lot already just with body weight. I mean, Brownie, yeah, like I mentioned before, he is someone that just uses mostly body weight and calisthenic exercises to build a lot of muscle. And yeah, his most recent of the physique looks absolutely incredible for someone that just does mostly calisthenics, you know? So, you know, you can really do an impressive amount of uh, things just with uh, body weight alone. So now imagine you just have some dumbbells and you are doing dumbbell chest press, you're doing some bicep curls, you're doing some tricep extensions, you're doing you know, anything you can do with a pair of dumbbells and you just keep the weight consistent, but you are upping the reps or you are upping the sets every workout. Will you gain a significant amount of muscle? So yeah, I'm going to look at some studies and let's see if there's an answer to this. Okay, so I just did a quick Google search mm -hmm. and it says you can actually build muscle mice or drive hypertrophy both through heavy weights and lower weights as long as the volume is right. So that, that must technically mean like you can just, you know, up the reps and the sets, and that should be fine, right? Okay, let's see what else we find. Of course you can. Okay, that's an answer. This guy says, low reps with heavy weights tends to increase muscle mass, while high reps with light weight increases muscle endurance. Okay, I guess that's good to see as well. This one says, new findings, lifting relatively light weights, about 50% of your one rep max, for about 20 to 25 reps, is just as efficient as building both strength and muscle. That's an interesting take on it as well. I mean, okay, there's a bit of uh, pros and cons to this. So if you're just gonna be doing the same amount of weight, it's very easy to track. You are just tracking the amount of reps you're doing and the amount of sets. So it's really easy to go about your week to week. But if you are just gonna be uh, doing that, I feel like, yeah, like they say, like you, you're gonna reach muscular endurance failure before you reach muscular hypertrophy failure. Your muscles are gonna fail because of fatigue, 
before the actual muscle fibers fail. So that's my take on it on anyways. But yeah, I'll look for some more research. But yeah, I'd actually want to give this a try for about 30 days. You know, just be doing the same amount of weight, but just upping the volume in terms of reps and sets rather than the weight and seeing how much muscle gains we actually make. I think that's a, that's a great idea. Let's give it a try. But yeah, that's all from me actually today. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.